You requested emerald and aquamarine, but instead I thought I'd bring you the entire barrel family. So I'm going to zoom up on each of these and I'm going to post comments about what causes them chemically to be different colors. So these are all related. They are all a part of the barrel family. So we're going to start out with aquamarine, which is blue barrel. This little piece here is actually growing with black tourmaline. So you can see it can definitely range in different colors of blue. Even this one, if you guys can really see, is two different colors. Isn't that crazy? I've never seen one naturally that blue. I mean, they are natural, but you know. This little piece, even though you might not be able to tell, is actually morganite which is pink barrel on the bottom and aquamarine blue barrel on the top they can grow together because they are related it's just a little bit of different chemical composition that changes them so next to that is gonna be the morganite yeah this is one that can easily be confused with rose quartz but as you notice some of them are have a more peachy color their pink definitely kind of varies a bit and the hardness of rose quartz is seven, whereas the hardness of morganite barrel is an eight. Next up, my birthstone, emerald. And it definitely is often found in a matrix, which is why we'll see a lot of black with them. And that is okay. Sometimes that confuses people on if they have one or not. So that was green barrel, obviously. Now we've got yellow barrel, which is Heliodor. Pretty, pretty. All right, the one that started all of this <laughs> would be red barrel, which is often called Big Spite. That is the rarest of them. And I have a pendant too, but that's upstairs. And this one then is Goshenite, which is colorless. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed meeting the barrel family. Click that comment up there to go to the original post, see what other crystal videos have been posted, and make a request of your own. Sending you guys so much love and crystal blessings.